Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack crack and addiction. Here we are with even more mystery booster boxes. The best product that Wizards has come out with in a long time. And one of the funnest sets ever to open. Probably even more fun than the Ultimate Masters. Especially since for these booster boxes I paid like $90 a piece. And there is just absolute fire in the box. So, if you're looking to support us, it's super easy. Just become a subscriber of the channel. Hit that thumbs up. It helps us to get our name out there. Also, feel free to check out a couple links in the description. The first one is our Patreon. You can become a patron of the channel. We'll open booster packs like this for you. Or, feel free to use our TCG Player affiliate link. It really does help us to get out there, Stinkweed Imp. This is a good dredge card. Helm of Awakening is our first. I'm pretty sure this is a rare. It's ramping, but it does it for everybody. Thalia's Lancers. And Memnite for our first foil. Nice little zero cost spell. So we'll leave that open there, the center of the lotus. That is for our mythics, so we can see how many we hit in this box. And we'll have a little pile for our good commons and uncommons. Like that, like Thran Dynamo. Really good. Triumph of the Hordes, another really good one. See, so much value, even without hitting the bombs. But there's a bomb right there. It's a Fairy's Protection for our first card that should be a Mythic, but isn't. <laughs> and the Fungus Sword. Man, I love this artwork. Old school 8th edition card. Was this one of the last sets that had the white border, unless it was foil? I think so. Oh, there we go. We're already hitting up tons of rares and tons of value. Mm. Sorry, guys. It's super early in the morning. I feel like I'm not quite there and my voice is still hidden in the back of my throat. Bow of Nelia. Wheel of Fate. It's always fun to have a nice Wheel of Fortune card. And Mirrodin's Core for another. This is a really cool looking artwork. Plague Crafter. It's actually solid and common. That seems really good, and that artwork is amazing. Phyrexian Reclamation. Might not be worth a lot, but I could I could get some use out of that. Artisan of Koslik, Dominus of Fealty. I do love the avatars. Beastmaster's Ascension. Another really good enchantment. And the Celestial Kirin. That's a very rude spell. <laughs> and that's legendary. You just get to do board wipe after board wipe against things that you're not playing. That's awesome. Thrumming bird. Herald's horn. This is another one of those cards that should probably be a rare. It's very good. Very good card. The Black Knight. Solid card. And Beacon of Immortality from the Explorers of Ixalan. Is that like a little, yeah, little ship wheel? And one with nothing. Pitch your whole hand and have some fun. That's what that card's all about. The super fast graveyard filler. Path? Nope, no path to exile. Really, we want to see more of those demonic tutors. Kaora's follower, that's a good one. Breaker of armies. 
Draco at 16 mana, 9 9. Look at that big dragon. Caged Sun, another really good rare. And the Helix Pinnacle. <laughs> it's a win condition. Just gotta get all of those Helix or the tower counters on it. I mean, if you've got a way to make infinite mana, I suppose you can win with that card. Dragon Brood, but there's our first mythic. This is a great one, too. Love making the little devour dragons. I feel like this goes really well with Rith, the Awakener, for a commander. So you're spitting out saplings and then dragons that can devour them. Feels real good. Mizzik's Mastery. It's a mean card. And Riki, the History of Kamigawa. Very good card. Draw for all those legendary spells. Trying to make sure I don't miss any good card like a well wisher. See those little cards sneak up on you, especially when it's got a different artwork than I'm used to. Crisis is good too, especially for your food chain decks or your, you know, birthing pod decks. Sapphire Charm, another really good card. Sweet artwork. Just the old school border. Collective Brutality, another really good rare. Especially if you're getting into Pioneer. And the Lantern of Insight. It's a lantern with a bunch of eyeballs on it. I remember, I remember when I heard about this, I was like, ah, 24 packs. I always like the 36, but with this set, 24 seems like it's more than enough. With as much as you just hit powerful cards, you know, multiple in a pack, it really doesn't feel so bad. Hedron Crab, there's a powerful card. Always good. Urza's Rage. This was an uncommon recently. And the Paradox Haze. A rude card that locks the world down. Yeah, it was an Urza's Rage in Modern Horizons, right? An uncommon in Modern Horizons, which actually feels a little bit better. It's an expensive spell. Treasure Hunt. It's actually a pretty good card. We'll put that off to the side. I can get some use out of that. Gift of Lords of Great Furnace. I do love that they threw the artifact lands in here. Hypnotic Spectre. There's a classic. Love the original artwork of that card. Cauldron of Souls. Boy, do I love Persist. It's a real good way to go infinite. And Morrow. With the sweet artwork. Look at that friendly face. Got antlers for teeth. All right. Come on, demonic tutor. Nope. Terminate. There's a useful card. Tempt with discovery. Gotta have a non-greedy playgroup for this to not be good. And a spike feeder foil. Shooting star foil. I do love that they brought that back to this set. Keeping true to how that original print went or the print they choose to use. Arcane Denial, another really good card. Oop, Serendib, Serendib, Efreet. And Zer's Weirding with the sweet artwork. Come on, Pat, nope. Uh, can we get a Divine Tutor? Nope, the Gurmog Angler though. Blastoderm, Blastoderm. Love this one. This artwork is great too. The Niels Ham version. Looks real good. Darksteel Citadel. 
Rashad and Footpad is actually pretty good. Mirror Entity. And the Sprig Jack Shepherd. Little Kithkin guy. We need to see those Kithkin again. All right, where's our mythics? I've had boxes of 10 or 11. Right now we're at one. Ravenous Chupacabra, we actually put that aside. Zerta Druid, another good one. Every time you tap for mana, it pings your opponents. Soothsane, there we go. There's a very good uncommon. It's functions a lot like the Divining Top. Sudden Demise. And Conspiracy with the Shooting Star Foil. Make everything a sliver. Or make everything a scarecrow. Whatever you want. Shining Ariosaur. Concentrate. Mm, a Shardless Agent. There we go. Chancellor of the Annex. Trading Post. Let's get a good foil. Mythic. Ooh, Grand Architect. It's not a Mythic, but I'll take it. This is really good. Rude Mono Blue card. If you just love to counter all of your opponent's spells and really be a mean player. Days. There you go. There's a really good, a good common... Magus of the Moat. If you can't afford a moat, this is a pretty good alternative. Michaeloth. Good for your slime foot. And a Foil Viscera Seer. Very good card. Actually, put that one over there so I don't forget to sleeve it up. Meditation Puzzle. Gush. There we go. Nice little card for pauper I like wild growth too nice one mana ramp spell <gasps> phantom centaur look at that classic spirit crow and horse I think we already got one of those Seb McKinnon art and the reaper king foil oh wow why did I think this was a mythic I guess it was before that time very good card Although I do prefer the new Secret Layer artwork is really cool looking. Vampire Hex Mage. Phyrexian Metamorph. I didn't even realize that one was printed in here. Very good card. The Boom Pile. A board wipe for all decks. And Runetail Kitsune Ascendant. Really rude if you can get this bad boy to flip. And we've had a ton of our a ton of our foils have been full of rares. Feels good. Abzan Charm, there we go. Bone Saw. The Phantasmal Dragon. Ooh! <laughs> Mana Crypt, the most expensive mythic you could open, followed by a rescue from the underworld. Mana Crypt. Well, we only have two mythics, but we got the best one. But I guess we can't be too upset, especially with like things like Teferi's Protection being in your rare slot. Factor Fiction, real good. Gary, real good. Oh, Tatiova. Night of Dawn. I think that is old school or rare from Tempest. Marin of Clan Neltoth. There we go. Another really good mythic. And the Stigma Lasher. I haven't seen this in forever. Man, that used to be a brutal card. All it has to do is deal damage once and they can't gain life. Something you can't interact with if it's already happened. I love that. Th 
Dr. Foundry, pretty good card. Dolman Gate, very good card. Sword of the Animist, another really good card. And Allosaurus Rider, Ooh, went right under the camera. There we go, Allosaurus Rider. Three packs left. Can we snag a couple top notch mythics on the toes? Maybe a send triplets or something amazing like that. Whisper Silk Cloak. Nice and common. The Guilt Leaf Palace. Man, this was so expensive until recently, which is great. Eldritch Evolution and our foil is the Blasting Station. Very good foil. Dark Blast. Krenko's Enforcer. Look at that intimidating little goblin. Ghost Quarter. There we go. Master Transmuter, Phyrexian Plague Lord, and Pull from Eternity for our foil. Last pack in our last shot for any more Mythics. Hopefully we can get a, at least one more. Mull Drifter is actually really good. Strider, Floodgate, Night Howler, and the Celestial Dawn. Well, it's a three mythic box, but then again, we had, <clears throat> we did get Teferi's Protection, which is one of the other super, super big cards in the set. So we can't be too sad. That's just it for $90. I feel like I, I'm never allowed to be sad. These hits are just way too good pretty much every time. Well, until the next box, there's a lot more to come. Just stay tuned. This is Booster Therapy. You have a wonderful rest of your day.